Hi friends. Hi friends. This is my September BoxyCharm unboxing. I don't think that there will be too many more of these. Uh, if you'll hold on one second, I'm just going to move my screen. I figured out a way to cast to my laptop, so I'm not always looking that way when I'm trying to check to see if things are in focus. So, BoxyCharm. And this, I don't weigh them. I'm sorry, but I can tell you that this is box one. So, uh, again, there was a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to use. I did already look, but um, the first, it's a beautiful palette. It is the, well, that doesn't help any, does it? <laughs> it is the Violet Boss Essentials palette. And it's really quite beautiful. And Violet Boss is cruelty free. I'm going to hold it this way so that I can cover up the mirror. I mean, the colors are just beautiful. They really are. Um, I'm not sure if you can see them as um, vibrant as they are because, was, by the way, I'm really sorry. There's a tiny bit of lag between my camera, my phone, and my laptop screen. So if you see me doing things more than once, that's why. Anyway, I, you can't see because of how bright the light is, um, just how vibrant these are. And I really wish I could use this. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can. There are, let's see, one, one, two, and three, oops, this one. And then these two are, look very shimmery. The others do look matte and, and they're quite pretty and there's plum and I love plums and emerald. Emerald, unfortunately, is one of the ones, it looks like it might be a duo chrome, but it's, um, it's very shimmery. But so that's the, uh. Violet Voss Essentials Eyeshadow Palette it provides revamped essential shades and an equal number of breathtaking mattes and metallics. So I guess there are six and six, maybe? Yeah, six and six, five and five. There are 10 shades in here. And that retails for $29. The next thing I am not going to use, uh, they really love Dr. Brandt at BoxyCharm. And that's what it is. But Dr. Brandt is not cruelty-free. This is the Hydrobiotic Recovering, Recovery Sleeping Mask. Uh, but they're not cruelty-free, so I, I'll be donating that. And that is a $52 value. That's the other thing. Dr. Brandt's stupid expensive. Uh, it's a hydrating recovery sleeping mask that balances skin's naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of irritation. I also, I use a CPAP overnight. And so the parts of the gear, the there's a thing that comes like right down here along my face to, to hold the nasal pillows. And I don't know, sometimes it seems kind of weird to put stuff like that on my face before I put that on. Uh, the next thing in here I was kind of very excited about, it is oops, a Moda. They're called Moda Pro. Moda is by Royal and Langnickel. This is a five-piece deluxe eye kit. Uh, this line features superior quality filaments and modern professional shapes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know that old professional shapes were no good, but uh, this has a shader brush, a crease brush, a detail brush, a smudge brush, and a liner. So it's, it's actually sealed, sealed, sealed. 
So let's see if I can open that. Yikers. <laughs> this is hard. Mm. Okay. These are the brushes. This is the liner brush. Um, the thing that I use brushes like this for, sorry, brushes like this for is more if I'm going to use an eyebrow pomade and it's not quite stiff enough for that. I really don't wear um, eyeliner because I have such hooded eyes, although I did just get the vamp stamp kitten. So we're going to see how that works because um, I can't do it. I can't do a flick on these eyes. It's like, bleh. but anyway, they always feel really nice. These are very soft and yet stiff enough that they're not just going to fold over um, while you're trying to do work. So that's really nice. And those retail for $27.95, $28. The next thing in here is speaking of eyeliner a Hank and Henry come on a Hank and Henry blickety black eyeliner it's uh, from the slick with it line of eye products it's very very black but it's a satin matte finish um, I haven't even opened this uh, I don't know if I want to I know that I have seen on other BoxyCharm unboxings that this is a, yeah, I will. I'll give it a shot. So I, the reason I was wondering is if I open it, I can't donate it. But I did just get something to try and maybe do eyeliner once in a while, um, at least on part of my eye. So let's see if I can open this. There, There was a It's very staticky. Um, there was one of those splits, but it didn't split all the way down. I mean, this is very staticky. Come on. People don't want to just watch you. There we go. Opening something like this. So that is, I might be able to use that because it is a felt tip. Come on. It is a felt tip. I, I like that, actually. I'm going to try using that. And I think that you're supposed to shake it because, can you hear that? It has beads in it. We'll see if shaking it. I don't, see, I don't think shaking is going to do anything because, not right away, because there's already liner on the felt tip. Yeah, again, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to try that. Well, what the heck? I have my mirror. Let's see if I can try it on screen. But this time we're going to do stuff with a mirror. Please excuse me if this is a bad application. I never wear um, eyeliner because of many reasons. Partly because I shake a little from all the prednisone that I'm usually on. But um, I'm going to give it a shot. Well, that did allow me to get a nice, I don't, can you see it? It allowed me to get a nice, small, thin line. So maybe, this may be pushing it, doing a second eye, but give it a shot. I don't know how people just like, and with their, and their eye just stays where they want it. But there you go. Okay. Actually, I really like this. 
I can actually make a a line with this. So I I'm ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> and the uh, that retails. I don't know if I said that, but for twenty dollars. And the last thing is from Billion Dollar Brow. It's the Microblade Effect Brow Pen. This brow pen mimics the look of actual brow hairs to get a great microblade effect without using the blade or without the blade. It can be used to define a very bold brow or create natural looking brow hairs for a more subtle look. It'll last all day long. This retails for $18 and um, I was going to try this, although as you can probably see, I generally have purple eyebrows. I was going to try this, but it is dark. That's the color. And if that band right there is anything to go by, uh, that's way too dark. Um, if I don't have anything in my brows, they're generally half gray and half brown. And my hair is much too light to wear that. So that will get donated. I also don't know if they are cruelty free. Uh, I will try and look that up and try to remember to put it in my description bar. So here is what I got in the box, uh, the Dr. Brandt's, which I will not be keeping. The very interesting Hank and Henry, which is a cruelty-free company, um, eyeliner. I'm, who knows? Maybe I'll be excited. Or maybe I'll wear eyeliner from now on. The eyebrow pencil, which I will not be using. So that's two things that I won't be using at all, for sure. The Moda brushes, which are very nice brushes. And yet another eyeshadow palette, um, which is, you know, like I said, it's half shimmers and... And the thing is that the mattes are not colors that I would use. They're very warm. Um, this brown is very yellowish. That's sorry. This brown is a very yellowish brown. Um, this brown is still pretty yellowish. Um, the dusty rose, maybe, but it's still pretty warm for me. And the cinnamon is also a matte and the black is a matte. I don't wear black because, you know, with hooded eyes and droopy eyes, because they're getting old. I've always, always had hooded eyes, but they're just more noticeable now. Um, anyway, this is a maybe. I'm, I'm going to have to think about if I'm going to use this. The value of the box is 29 and 52 is 81 and 28 is 109 and 20 is 129 and 18 is 130 147 is that for real let me just see if I can calculate this very quickly on my computer. And I'm not going to be able to do that because I can't get away from the... Well, that's quite funny. Hold on a second. Because I am casting to my laptop, I can't actually do anything with my laptop, which I didn't realize. Uh, so, calculator. I'm sure I have a calculator on my iPad. Well, that's just silly. I how could I not have a calculator? Okay, let me throw this camera. No, no calculator. I think I'm right. A hundred, but a hundred forty-seven seems so much. So let's say, let's say thirty and fifty-two is a hundred eighty-two, but minus one. So, so thirty and fifty-two is eighty. So fifty. 81 plus 28 is 107. 137, yes, $156 for this box. 
which is pretty amazing. And it's a $21 a month box. It's less if you subscribe for a certain, if you subscribe for three or six or 12 months, you get it for less. My 12 month subscription will be up. I, I believe October will be my last box. Uh, it's just not been worth it for me. It just really hasn't because um, there's, there's almost always a palette in here and it's almost always a shimmery palette. It's just not, BoxyCharm doesn't really care about women my age is what it is. But uh, I will be using for sure the $20 brush, uh, the $28 brush set. So right there, that's more than the cost of the box. And the Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner, which is another $20. Anyway, that's all. My friends, oh, I guess I'm supposed to tell you, please subscribe, please hit the like button, leave a comment if you want, um, hit the notification bell if you want. I, it, it irritates me that you have to do that if you wanna make sure you get stuff from your subscribers, but subscriptions, but what, am I, what can I say? Uh, that's it. So please, as I always tell you, try to find the light within yourself because it makes it easier to find the light within others. I hope you have a wonderful however long it is before my next unboxing. I actually, not unboxing, I think I'm going to do everything that I've been getting from the 21 Days of Beauty, probably when, I'm, when it's over and I've gotten whatever I'm going to get and just show you things. But right now I will tell you, I have one of the Boxum, the, their new liquid lipsticks. I hate liquid lipstick, hate it. It usually makes people's, it, it might look really pretty in still photo, but on most people in real life, it looks terrible. I love this. I really love this. And I like this color. This is nothing really like the Dolly, um, the, lip cream or lip gloss, either one of them, but that's, this is Be My Dolly. So I'm really happy with it. Anyway, I've already said goodbye and then I kept talking. Goodbye.